Hello, if you finish GD script I talking about uh, before, so if you finish this uh, GD script course for free, you need only to open this project and continue working. But if you didn't finish it, don't worry. What you need to do, you need to create one uh, new proje project and after that to create one new scene. Uh, for creation of a new scene you only need to click in this uh, 2D scene button and after that uh, you will get this uh, node 2D. Click on this icon and uh, drag and drop it inside uh, your screen to have icon inside. After that click once on node 2D and click here in a script to create it. This is for uh, beginning, beginner stock. And uh, after that you only need to write this uh, script. So just pause video and write this script. And now for uh, all of you who uh, are finished this course and have icon uh, moving uh, on a screen or our uh, Godo uh, mascot let's say it like this uh, let's do something this is a continuation of a beginners beginners course so uh, what will we do we will add uh, one uh, child node and for this resource we will write rigid find rigid body 2d select it click create after that we will add to this rigid body other child node uh, write it this and find collision shape 2d click create so we will create one rigid body and collision shape for this rigid body will be same as rigid body so rectangular shape click on the rigid body and with a transform for this rigid body position need to be zero zero and after that click on your icon and position for your icon uh, can be also bit set to zero zero for a rigid body here hide icon and for rigid body set collision shape similar to icon like this okay that will be all we will uh, we will continue in the next uh, lecture and now in the next lecture we will uh, do uh, something like this so in our main scene we will add to this rigid body another icon we will try to put it here this doesn't working so put it somewhere and this will be under it for this icon will be we will only change something here on a self modulate put it on some other color maybe 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 this okay this collision shape point selected move it somewhere up and uh, start it to see what do we get he's moving down under the gravity and this uh, gravity is part of a rigid body uh, let's go to gravity scale. We will lower it. Six. And. And. He's moving slowly down. Very good. Now, our main character is this icon. Will be here. And let's see do we have a time for a movement? Oh. What uh, do we do? What are we do? We 
move something but we don't move everything this collision shape need to be here also this need to be mm, very icon icon mr icon uh, mr icon uh, mr icon become a little bit uh, cheesy uh, mr icon become uh, totally cheesy with uh, mr icon what is going on with you do you know to move or not <laughs> you know to move okay and let's see let's see let's see okay he's moving slowing down uh -huh. tap 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 and he go pass good 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 very good very good okay this is all in this micro lesson and we will continue in the next and now in the next micro micro lecture we will click on this icon and add one child node this child node will be raycast 2d click on this raycast 2d click on create and little bit zoom look on raycast Hmm, Raycast need to be a little bit changed. We will say Raycast Epsilon is okay, but we will write minus 50. So go up and and let's uh, write it minus 60. Good. Minus 60. So with the Raycast, he will move toward up. Now click here on enable and in a script under the function process what we will do in a script in the function process we will say this is no 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 this will not work we will need to do something like this let's say variable uh, variable array is equal get node and go to this raycast uh, raycast mr raycast use on ready use on ready on ready i think this is good hmm. okay what now now we will say mr ray is are you colliding you connected colliding decide what you want icon here okay raycast okay is colliding okay okay if this colliding we will say print colliding okay and now let's see expected end of statement after expression uh, ray casting let's say if if ray casting is colliding print colliding blah 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 this is good let's test it test it test it test it test it i'm hurry because uh, i want to make less than under three minutes but do we have something here colliding mr colliding is working very good and this is of course all in this micro lecture and we will continue in the next micro, micro lecture so goodbye and now in the next uh, micro lecture we will write something like this so if ray is colliding we will say something like 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 point oh and plus one so if there is more of this um, object you will 
get plus one point. And now we can create uh, here one um, line to the this will be our line to the here this is our line to the line to the will uh, be somewhere here so line to the Also, we will change uh, up and down, not uh, enable for uh, this testing. Mr. Up and Down, huh? Not for now. Mr. Up and Down will be not for now. And I think this is okay. We will have something. So if you catch this object, you get point plus one. You get point plus one if you catch it. We are moving and this line is moving also. We can uh, change it if we want and if we don't want we don't need to change it but I will change it. I will put line somewhere here so line 2D will not move now just check it for the next micro lecture oh, line is moving again do we have points? we have points but this line decide to move he need to move, but we will make it bigger. And now, with a bigger line, we will not see this movement again. Test, test, test again. See now? Ah, we still have movement of the line. You need to uh, set it line to be forward without any 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 jumpings up or down and uh, this will be good you need to set it in transform and this will be okay and that's all for this micro lecture okay 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 let's continue you need to set this 2d line to be line and if you don't want to mess with this nodes just set a grid show grid set configuration snap 60 bo 64 by 64 click on use snap and after that click on your line uh, line don't need to be in, in any under any of this group need to be alone in a group only under node 2d and uh, just with the snap snap it anywhere you want I suggest you to snap it uh, something like this and to have uh, at least uh, width of the screen for uh, see this width of the screen for uh, left and right to create uh, effect of uh, sliding uh, in some grid and now if you only set this right you will have something like this so your object object with sliding sliding some grid see and uh, if you write this code you will have point plus plus one this will be interesting if you have one rigid body it's okay but uh, if we create few rigid bodies uh, same as this one uh, we can create it by duplicating but uh, i don't suggest this 
be because with duplication you get uh, also all data of previous uh, duplicated file but uh, for the sake of uh, of example let's show it you will have something like this so you will have uh, objects moving with the same speed if you want it it's okay but uh, if you change uh, variables in any one of them so gravity say scale 0 6 to let's see, no, 0 9 let's say 0 9 uh, this will be okay so 0 9 0 6 0 6 good okay now you have three objects going over down and looking okay no collisions because we don't make collisions and maybe this icon can be scaled down I think this maybe will be good just scale it a little bit uh, For example, something like this. Come on, what is going on? Uh, this is <laughs> this is idea of duplication, and because we have snapping, this become a little bit crazy. Okay so we solve the problems of uh, collision shapes with duplication all of them are are working but uh, for icons uh, you will need to do it manually and other icon But uh, important for us is collision shape. So set rightly collision shape to be similar all the s or uh, completely the same as icon. And now when we start our game, we'll have three objects uh, under the gravity and our main object here. If uh, you use it to right, you will have uh, this point plus one uh, text in output window because our ray uh, is colliding mm, as you see uh, here our ray have um, is set uh, towards up and this is the part of the ray colli colliding options all ray, uh, ray cast 2D need to be enabled for use so if you forget to check it enable check it and uh, ray cast work only when uh, this uh, line part and in our situation upper part of the line collide with some object uh, this uh, will be all for now and it will be good uh, also to create some 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 uh, score system okay and now in, in your code uh, just uh, write this uh, variable points equal to zero and inside if uh, ray is colliding write points plus equal one for you who don't know this means points is points plus one so points plus equal one and uh, inside print uh, change text to points and write points plus str command for uh, changing uh, to string uh, we have integer variable to string and now let's uh, try to play this game so goal is to find object which is falling 
and to get as much as you can and now you have 17 points very good you can uh, change the gravity of each of uh, this uh, object for example this object here uh, can have uh, lower gravity for example uh, 0 0.3 and uh, you can play, play it like this so objects are falling and you try to get as much as possible now we have 21 points 21 points I want to make it better better uh, I will change the speed of movement uh, let's try variable B and write it to 6 I want to be speedy man and let's play it so Mr. Speedy man everybody moving I move everybody move this is very interesting let's see let's see 30 points so very good very good <laughs> so this is <laughs> this will be all in this game part okay this is how to 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 work with uh, rigid bodies rigid body also have uh, other um, variables here like linear uh, angular uh, velocity applied force and you can uh, make a really cool game with this for example uh, you can uh, use this line 2d and try to add a child node for, for this for example static body 2d and this static body 2d also need to have one child uh, for collision so collision shape 2d and for collision you can use uh, um, tem, tem, tem. let's say segment shape okay segment shape uh, is this good idea i will see and this uh, static body now have a collision shape defined and you can set this collision shape here in a line and now you will see what I want to show you if you start to play a game and move your object will fall here see in this line and act according to their gravity and you can experiment with their gravity for example you can say uh, okay linear velocity angular angular is cooled apply force we don't want it so we can play with angular velocity for example there are many many positions see because I play with angular velocity only with one object and I have spectacle and a screen you see this show because we don't know what is what uh, how this influence see he's going up down uh, and influence to other object if we change this velocity to 3 only angular means in an angle uh, now this effect will be visible so he had angular angular influence not so wise for our situation so we will write it to 0 we can influence linear velocity for example in epsilon we will write it something like this for rigid body one for rigid body one first one okay 
let's see rigid body one is going here okay you can experiment with this variables okay now you have a game which counts your points whenever you have a good uh, good uh, collision our raycast uh, is here set and scale it as you see here you can write it uh, as one one if you want to to change it just uh, scale it an amount you want and you will get it okay thank you very much uh, for uh, watching I will continue with this um, strange tutorials you will not find anything like this on a net believe me <laughs> nobody use raycast with a, with a sprite simply nobody I believe that people make games like this uh, but don't use sprite they use uh, kinematic body or whatever they need in a game and because I want to create something very simple for anybody to grasp even if uh, don't have any experience with coding and if you have experience with coding this will be water and onion for you but if you didn't this can be interesting okay <laughs>